Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back bringing another video and this video I am going to be telling you guys how I make over 20,000 MT per hour in NBA 2k20 my team now before we get into and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I do try my best to upload my team videos and stay on top of all the content that 2K drops in my team every single day. And if this video does help you, make sure you guys go on ahead and drop a like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get that like goal up to 750 likes on this video. I felt like this video right here was the perfect video to make at this time right now because I'm sure a lot of you guys know that Christmas just passed and a ton of people have gotten 2k for Christmas so for those of you guys who do who got 2k for Christmas you guys are watching this video you guys came to the right video to make tons of MT in my team and no matter if you guys are a budget baller if you guys are a no money spent player if, even if you guys have one of the best teams in the world, like I do, a full pink diamond or galaxy opal squad, this video right here will definitely help you guys out. Now, there also is one more thing that I did want to talk about before we hop into it, and that is that you're going to be making, on average, 20,000 MT per hour. And I say on average because some hours you're going to make around 15 to 16,000 MT, some hours you might make around 25,000 MT. Some hours you might make around 30 to 35,000 MT. It goes up and down, guys, but on average, consistently, you'll be making anywhere from 20 to 25,000 MT on average, consistently doing this method right here in this video. I think the lowest amount of MT that I've gotten doing this method, playing this game mode, is 17,000 MT in one hour. And I think the highest amount of MT that I've gotten was around 70,000 MT in one hour. It goes up and down, guys, but like I said, consistently, 20 to 25,000 MT is what you're going to be making per hour now with that being said let's get straight into it right here the game mode that you're going to want to play hourly is this triple threat online game mode trust me when i say this guys i have tried out every single game mode in 2k to make tons of mt efficiently and i feel like the most efficient game mode is this triple threat online game mode when it comes to the other game modes like my team unlimited right here you'll not be making anywhere near close to 20,000 MT, MT playing this game mode because the prizes honestly aren't that good. And also when it comes to the multiplayer challenges right here, these are solid to make MT, but you again aren't gonna be making 20,000 MT per hour because there are only three of them up right now. Same thing with the other game modes right here. When it comes to domination, you're not gonna be making 20,000 MT per hour playing that. Same thing with the challenges. These challenges are not it for making MT. And when it comes to the, when it comes to the single player offline triple threat, this game mode I feel like is the second best way to make MT, but honestly it's not as good as the online game mode because you have no ball drops on this game mode right here. So like I said, I've tried every single game mode and a game mode that I feel most confident that you can make 20,000 MT per hour is this triple threat online game mode. So now I am going to be telling you guys the in-depth stats on how I make 20 plus thousand MT per hour. And I'm also going to be playing one hour of online triple threat and showing you guys how much MT I make in an hour now when it comes to the squad of the online triple threat game mode right here honestly it doesn't really matter the squad that you use i do recommend that you guys do use a squad that you guys are comfortable using and winning a lot of games with like this squad right here i'm like probably like 70 and like two i've won like 70 games with this squad right here and only lost two this squad right here is my go-to squad for triple threat online. I recommend that you guys do find yourself a squad where you can win tons and tons of games and barely lose because winning games in online triple threat is probably the most important aspect of this method of making tons of MT. Because when it comes to triple threat online game mode, you're going to be playing around 10 games of online triple threat per hour. And every single game, you're going to be making around 350 MT in game so 10 times 350 for playing and winning the game is 3500 mt so already for just playing a game and winning you, you would make 3500 mt per hour so after you guys win the game 2k brings you back into the main menu and 2k gives you a ball drop prize board and essentially how the ball drop prize board goes is that 2k gives you a ton of prizes between packs mt and tokens those are the three prizes that you guys can get on the triple threat online board now when it comes to the prize packs that you guys can get on a triple threat online game mode you guys can get any of these packs right here as you guys can see i do have them in my packs queue 
I'm saving all of these up because I'm going to be doing a large prize pack pack opening pretty soon. As you can see right here, I do have a ton. So I got all of these, and I mean all of these packs from the triple threat online game mode so that is essentially how i'm going to be making more mt by opening up these packs right here and selling everything that, that i do get to the auction block i do want to put a big and i mean big emphasis on that is that sell everything that you guys do get from the packs from the triple threat board onto the auction block do not quick sell anything trust me when i say this everything in 2k goes for value now let's go on ahead and open up this triple threat pack right here that I did get from triple threat online. I'm going to re reveal all right here. So I did get two players an Emerald Lou Williams and a heat check Cristiano Felicio as well as a Phoenix Suns jersey contract and an arm injury card. Lou Williams goes for around 750 MT on the auction block. This contract card goes for 250 MT. So that already adds up to 1000 MT. This Phoenix Sun jersey right here goes for 400 MT. So that already is 1400 MT. Plus the arm injury card I believe goes for 100 MT. So I added up those four cards right there. That totals up to 1500 MT from this pack. Now taking a look at this heat check Cristiano Facilio who we got out of the pack. Right now he is going for at the cheapest 2,900 MT on the auction block. So if you sell him for 3,000 MT right on the dot and you add up the other 1,500 MT that you got out of the pack, that pack added up to 4,500 MT from the Triple Threat Online prize pack. So you add on that 4,500 MT from the prize pack, add it on to the 3,500 MT, which like I said, you do get by winning every single game in Triple Threat Online. That right there is already added up to 8,000 MT just from one ball drop pack and winning every single game in the my team triple threat online mode and that is only like that's only one prize pack you guys can be getting so many more prize packs playing this online game mode so not only will you guys be making MT from the prize packs on the triple threat board and also the in-game MT that you do get for playing and winning the game you will also be getting MT on the triple threat prize board as well you guys will be seeing some loops of balls that rotate on the screen that will give you guys MT and you guys will also be seeing on your left sometimes 2k will give you some MT prizes like 2500 MT on the left 500 MT on the left 1000 MT on the left those will be your prizes when you guys see them 2k can give you prize packs and also prize MT for dropping a ball in the correct spot to get the amount of MT on a prize on the left so that is essentially how you guys do get the MT from the online game mode. You play the game, win MT, that is the first way. The second way is you get the prize packs and sell everything in it. And the third way is just simply get MT from dropping the ball into the ball drop triple threat prize board. Those are the three ways on how you guys make over 20,000 MT essentially per hour while doing this method. I honestly can't put enough stress and enough emotion talking about this topic right here in this video and that is that like I said the most important aspect is to win the games no matter if it takes you 10 minutes to win a game or five minutes no matter guys winning is the most important aspect of this video because like I said when you do get to the ball drop when you get when you win more games you get higher into the ball drop you know like for the first few games you get like one or two ball drops but if you win every single game you move up to the four and five ball drop and that right there is where you're going to be making most of your most of your mt from the four or five ball drops because those are the best boards and it gives you four to five balls to drop on that board but if you guys do lose your games you won't be getting up to those four or five ball drops you're going to be you know kind of stuck at that three ball drop and if you lose like i said that's not good because you're only going to be getting one ball drop instead of three or instead of like four or five because you're losing now when it comes to the contracts portion of this video if you guys can afford a diamond contract they're only going for around 10,000 mt i do recommend you guys do apply that diamond contract on that player because contracts are kind of like losing profit on your players if you guys can afford a diamond contract put it on your player asap for triple threat but if you guys can't afford all uh, diamond contracts i do recommend that you guys do get a stack of 20 bronze packs off the auction block a stack of 20 bronze packs on the auction block only goes for around 3000 mt and you guys can just simply be putting those on your players over and over and over again i do not recommend that you guys do buy contracts in game because buying contracts on cards in game costs a lot of mt way more than a stack of bronze contracts or diamond contract would and that right there applying contracts your players in game is going to lose profit on your total output so now that i have told you guys how making 20,000 mt per hour is possible in my team 
I am now going to be showing you guys and playing one hour of triple threat online and showing you guys how my MT will jump probably 20 plus thousand MT. As you guys can see right here, I do have 500,000 MT in the top right hand corner, and that is likely going to jump up 20,000 MT after I play one hour. So I'm gonna be timing one hour on my phone, and then we will be wrapping it up after I play that hour. So now let's try and look for a match right now, and as soon as I do find a match, I'm going to start the timer of one hour on my phone. And it, I'm pretty sure it's not going to take long to find a match. It's, just, it's a Saturday morning right now. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are playing 2K, playing the Triple Threat Online game mode, and I did find a match right here. So I'm gonna go on ahead and start the timer, and I'll be seeing you guys in an hour. Now, as you guys just saw on this board right here, I made 10,000 MT because I got the ball into two 5,000 MT ball drops on a left and right handed sides in the lower left and right handed corners. I am only right now 32 minutes into this triple threat hour and I have already made 23,000 MT. As you guys can see right now, I have 523,000 MT in the top right handed corner. Now granted, I did play at the top boards on Triple Threat Online. I did not reset and go down to the first board and work my way up. I started off in the middle and went all the way, way up. But as you guys will see now, now that I have to restart and go all the way back down, the boards will be getting a lot smaller and I only get one or two ball drops compared to f three, four, and five on a top ball drop board. I probably, for, for the next 30 minutes, I probably will be making around six to 7,000 MT because like I said, we're going to start over on the baby boards essentially. So now heading back into the main menu right here guys, we are pretty much done with playing the hour of triple threat. As you can see right here, we're at the 57 minute mark, which is pretty much at the hour mark. So with that being said, as you can see, I do have 524,000 MT. We started off this video with 500,000, now we're at 524, we made 24,000 MT in less than an hour. We also did get this Andre Iguodala Deluxe Spotlight Series Reward Pack. So we're going to open up this right here and sell what we get to the auction block and then that will accumulate our total amount of MT that we made in an hour. On this pack right here we get an Emerald Coach as well as Thaddeus Young and some shoes. So Thaddeus Young did end up selling for 800 MT, the Coach sold for 400 and two shoes sold for 250 each. So from that pack we made another 2 grand, 2000 MT, so as you can see right here we're going to now fin finish off this video with a grand total of making 26,000 MT in one hour playing triple threat online. So yeah guys, that right there, that was pretty much going to do it and wrap up this video. In this video, I told you guys how to make over 20,000 MT playing triple threat online in NBA 2K20, my team. Now to conclude this video, I will repeat to you guys the steps. And the steps, like I said, are very, very simple. What you're going to want to do is simply go into Triple Threat Online, give your players tons of contracts from the auction block, and play Triple Threat Online over and over and over again. And just make sure you guys win and get the best prize possible on a ball drop of Triple Threat Online boards. So that right there is how you do it. And that's pretty much going to wrap up and conclude this video. If this video has helped you, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said, I do try my best to upload my team videos every single day. And also dropping a like would be greatly appreciated as well. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.